We are off to Mount Fuji today, so let's go. Good morning, good morning, good morning peeps. How's it going? My name's Lisa, Kiwi Lisa. I am today in Tokyo, Japan. That's right. I came here a couple of days ago, an extra long travel journey from Bris Vegas, Brisbane. So the long travel day started in Brisbane. First flight to Manila, got me a window seat at seat 31A, plenty of leg room, a row to myself. Got a feed, watched movies, and seven and a half hours later arrived in Manila. A two hour layover, and then a night flight to Tokyo, and boom, I made it to Japan. Two flights done. Oh, 15 odd hours traveling, and I have made it to Japan. It's like about midnight here, but I will be up and out first thing in the morning. I'll be crashing tonight but I'm going to be having a spectacular adventure. Uh, I filmed a vlog yesterday. This Kiwi got lost in Tokyo. I will link it up here. This vlog, I'm going to uh, do a vlog about my 10 day Japan trip. I booked it with Tripadeal. Have you heard of Tripadeal? Well, I hadn't. The deal looked too good to be true, but I booked it. I'm here on the Japan Discovery Tour. I'm going to take you along day by day not too sure how it's going to go anyway i booked it i'm here i'm going to take you along with me uh, we stayed at the bar east village hotel um, not a bad little wee venue to stay for two nights uh, we just i just finished breakfast the tour starts today you're going to be tagging along for the journey what we did what what we saw uh, what i liked maybe what i didn't like uh, the day starts today, so let's go. Can you remember our coach captain name? Mr. Ishigo. So, Ishigo san. Ishigo san. And then, at the morning, if you see him, just give hello to him. How are you going to say hello to him? Just say no. It's correct, Konnichiwa, but not in the morning, uh, it's afternoon or evening. You said, oh, hayo gozaimasu. So that's Boy, our tour leader for 10 days. I'll introduce you to him in a later vlog. He's giving us a rundown of some Japanese protocols, the ins and outs for the day, some Japanese history and information. It's a three hour drive to the iconic Mount Fuji, the highest mountain in Japan. We make one pit stop and the autumn weather in October makes this such a beautiful scenic drive. So about an hour and a half later peeps, we have arrived. Mount Fuji is just up there. The cloud is covering it. But anyway, we made it to Mount Fuji. We're here for about an hour 15, and then we were heading off. I'll scope out this place um, and show you around. Tables, peeps are absolutely hectic. I am running like here, there, and everywhere because I like to get a shot or two, and of course, I'm getting a little bit of content for you guys. Anyway, um, my time is just about up. I need to take a little bit of a pit stop, but are, not, are these autumn colours not absolutely spectacular? They certainly are. I don't know.
So about an hour's drive from Mount Fuji, we made it to Lake Kawaguchiko, probably pronounced that wrong. We're going to take a 20 minute boat cruise out on the lake. At first I took to the right hand side of the boat as we made our way out and I must have missed the memo in the itinerary. Because if you're heading out, you want to be on the left hand side of the boat. That's where you're going to get postcard views of the iconic Mount Fuji. Obviously the right hand side is best when you're heading back in. We had about 30 minutes to strut down the main road, time to grab ourselves some supplies from the store and then it was about an hour and a half drive to our accommodation to end out the day. Good morning, good morning, good morning peeps. It's another day here in Japan. Uh, we stayed last night at the Root Inn Hotel. So Tripodil's inclusions on this tour includes all accommodation of three star hotel rating. This bathroom is a little weird like stepping up into a port loo but it had a bath. Yes I indulged. This one was tidy and comfortable for the one night. Uh, I've just finished breakfast which was included. Breakfast is here. A bit of rice. Oh, you even get chips for breakfast. Another long travel day today. I'm going to take you along. So let's go. Heading to Takayama and it will take two hours. So and yes, we're headed to oh, Takayama. Boys giving us a plan for the day. We've got shotguns, front row. Woo -woo. Before Takayama, we have a nice scenic drive headed for our first pit stop. Okay, peeps, it was a one hour drive from our last destination after breakfast. We left at eight o'clock and we have arrived here at the Dio Wasabi Farm. We're here for 45 minutes. Uh, tour guide he's taking us for a little bit of a spin we might get a little bit of free time so let's go totally getting left behind You can get some wasabi ice cream, but that's a no-go for me. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Okay, so as we're heading our way to Takayama, Old Town, there is some beautiful scenery, beautiful autumn colours, beautiful lakes, rivers like this one here, some tight squeezes through some tunnels, a long windy windy road, but it is absolutely spectacular. So we have made it to the old town Tokiyama. We're here for two hours. Uh, old town Tokiyama, let's go. Follow 
follow the tripodil. Follow the flag. I got me a little buddy. Will is tagging along. His grandma has allowed him to tag along with me who might get lost. But we're trying to scope out the river for some big koi fishes. I oh, don't know, we found ourselves a little shrine here. Built in 1739, this gate has been designated a Tokuyama cultural property. Wow, 1739. Okay, so Will's decided he's going to get himself a beef skewer. Um, I'm not so game. Okay, we walked straight past. I got lost, but we're going to make our way down. And there's some little wee koi fish down there. I can spot them. We came, we saw, we had a bit of a detour, but we found the koi fish. So after getting a little bit sidetracked trying to find the koi fish, we have now made ourselves to the old town here. We're taking ourselves for a little bit of a trot. We have about 45 minutes to go before we need to get back to the bus. We are definitely not rushed for time here. Two hours is definitely plenty of time. It definitely is what I now describe as very unique Japanese. This is what I was expecting. You gotta be short when you're in this shop here. <laughs> Wheels just about touching the roof. <laughs> so as we're making our way back to the bus, I kind of thought that I got lost. Will assured me that we weren't, but then we've seen oi, which means we know we're not lost. We're on the, the right way back to the bus. So peeps, we have made it to our last stop for the day. Um, I have my little piece of paper here so I don't mispronounce it, but we're at the Oji Mushi Gesho style of village. Small example of Dutch house. And uh, you can see it's all here. And uh, the old Dutch house, small one. Yeah? Okay peeps, this little village is absolutely spectacular. It has got a bit of a Scandinavian, Switzerland vibe, even though I've actually never been there before. Um, I am gonna end out this vlog here. We've got a two hour trip back to our hotel. Um, as usual, if you have liked this vlog, give me a like and a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel below and I will spot you in the next vlog. Spot you peeps.